Oi. Animals, wildlife. I presume they're pretty elaborate and huge when it comes to different wildlife and the whole animal kingdom within Brazil. So we're going to be looking at some unique animals from Brazil in this video. And of course, this will be linked down below. So you can watch the whole thing uninterrupted from Top 10 Daily. And then I'll look some up on the interwebs afterwards, see if I can find some more. And yeah, we're just going to chill and uh, look at some cool animals from Brazil. I think it should be pretty fun. In my head, when I think of like places with the craziest amount of like lots of different animals, for some reason in my head, I just come up with Brazil and Australia as like standing out as like some, you know, known for elaborate wildlife. So let's find out about some. Here we go. 10 unique animals only found in Brazil. Number 10, anteater. When you oh think of Brazil, your mind might not instantly go <laughs> to anteaters. No, large... I wouldn't have actually expected that. I've, of course, I've heard of anteaters. I didn't think of them as, um, it, it really, I didn't even know they were in Brazil at all. I am not an animal expert, so most of these I'm probably going to be shocked by. Population <laughs> of these strange looking animals lives in the savannas and the dry tropical forests of the region. Wow. They use their long snout and even longer thin tongues to reach inside of anthills and feed. Their tongue is covered in. Yeah, look at that weird shaped head and, and snout, really. I mean, look at that. What an interesting animal. It's so funny. Or, well, it's actually really interesting to see how some species evolve over millions of years, right? Uh, look at that. It's crazy. Snout and even longer thin tongues to reach inside of <laughs> anthills and feed. Their tongue is covered in a series of small hooks, which, when paired with their sticky saliva, are used to grab the insects inside. Wow. Their tongue reaches up to two feet in length. Oh, They're look at that. They're highly territorial animals using their long curved foreclaws to chase Whoa. others out of their chosen territory. Look at that. They have an interesting absence of teeth and an extremely heightened sense of smell. They are sometimes known as the ant bear due to their physical appearance and can weigh up to 121 pounds. That's pretty hefty. It's funny. I've actually, I've always seen pictures of ant eaters. I've actually never seen one in action, like eating, right? Trying to get its food. That's actually really bizarre. Wow. Number nine, piranha. Mammals Ooh, aren't yikes. the only thing that Brazil is known for. They also are well known for having piranha live in their bodies of fresh water. Ooh. These fish have become famous for their sharp teeth and yeah. the fact that they are predators which hunt in large schools. These omnivorous animals will eat almost anything. Some of the piranha living in the Amazon River have been witnessed eating cows to the bone. Oh they have my a single God. row of interlocking teeth on each jaw. The fact that their teeth interlocks means that of all the bony fish in the world, the piranha have the strongest bite. Their bite Jeez. force has been measured up to 72 pounds strong. They lay their eggs in holes found in the banks of the Amazon River. Damn. Yeah, piranhas, they're just freaky. They are something, you, I, in my opinion, you never want to meet in the water, right? I think that's safe to say. Um, how dangerous are these in the sense of like how common would it be? If you're, you know, fishing or even, I don't know, taking a dip in a body of water, you know, how common, how much do you need to think about piranhas? Unless I missed it, I, I didn't really gather where he said, where they, do they occupy all of Brazil? Is it only in certain areas? I imagine it's probably, you know, more found in just certain areas, but yeah. I'm sorry, those do not look fun. Number eight, <laughs> not at giant all. Giant otter. The giant otter lives in the rainforest of Brazil. <laughs> they are highly endangered, largely due to illegal hunting. The furs of the giant otter are highly regarded among poachers. At Boy, giant indeed. When I think of an otter, I don't think of one that big. He's almost as big as these alligators, dude. <laughs> As illegal Holy trading crap. rings. They are also suffering from habitat destruction and pollution. While not technically an apex predator, they are only hunted by three animals in the world. The anaconda, the caiman, and the jaguar. This is one of Jeez. Wasn't he just chilling next to those? Of the reasons why they are sometimes known as the river wolf. Their main diet is actually made up of piranha. They are one of the very few animals to feed off of carnivorous fish. The white spot on their throat what? differs from giant otter to giant... Oh my God, look at those. <gasps> I had no idea. See, I actually don't know a lot about like certain animals. That's a complete shock to me. And good for them. Hell yeah, they're... 
They're fighting against the piranhas. <laughs> Giant otter. And is how the animals Jeez. are capable of identifying one another. Damn. They can reach up to 75 pounds and, if not hunted, will live up to 13 years in the wild. Ocelot. The oh, ocelot wow. are nocturnal cats, well known for being incredibly solitary. In I've heard of ocelots. I don't know much about them compared to some other cats. And again, I did not know they were in Brazil. Fact, their only threat is that of encroaching urban development, which is pushing these beautiful oh, creatures man. further into the forests. Yeah. They are more than happy to swim, especially in pursuit of prey, and also have a wide variety of animals that they're willing to eat, ranging. They're really, um, they don't look to be that big, right? When I think of some really big cougars or mountain lions that we would have here in the U.S., uh, or even just other wild cats throughout the world, like uh, these appear to be. Uh, pretty small compared to maybe, you know, of course, like tigers, jaguars, things like that. Uh, but they're beautiful. I love, of course, like I love the pattern, love the stripes on the tail. Yeah, they're, they're pretty. They're pretty animals. From monkeys to iguanas to fish. The Amazon rainforest of Brazil is their largest home environment. They are most active at dusk and only have a lifespan of about 10 years, mm. but they can live up to 20 years in captivity. Their unique fur coloration allows them to easily blend in with yeah. the thorn forest and tropical forest that they call home, especially during the twilight hours. Yeah. Between the fact that they excel in camouflage and are naturally reclusive in nature, it is proven to be exceptionally difficult to gather much research data on these large cats. That's what's crazy about some wild cats, like those, um, jaguars, panthers, these types of things. Like the way hunting is ingrained in their, you know, instincts and their DNA and how they're just scary in the fact that they're, they know their environment and they blend in. They're one of those animals where, of course, you always hear it. If you ever see one, they see you. They've seen you way before you spotted them. That kind of thing, uh, it's freaky. You know, sometimes it's not just teeth and claws that can be scary. It's the fact that they're just so good at scanning their surroundings that can be intimidating. They're naturally hunters or predators, and they're good at it. Six, maned wolf. Maned Much wolf. like its name implies. I've never heard of that. There's so many different types of wolves. Maned wolf has a massive mane that stands up and a wow, bristle. Wow, look at that. When danger is near, their oh, long legs wow. allow them to stand up above the tall grasses of the territory, giving yeah. them the opportunity to look out and spot prey hidden below. They can stand up to 35. Holy smokes, that is so different than wolves. I'm pretty sure that's way different than wolves, obviously, that we would have, especially in like the northern U.S., like timber wolves and gray wolves and things like that even up in canada look at the the stature on that it, it's so its body is so high up its legs are so long it's got this this tall like stretched out appearance really interesting five inches high at the shoulders their wow. legs are black to help blend in with yeah. shadows among the high grass and and the rest of their coat is a golden red unless it's cold out the maned wolf avoids hunting during the daytime they're mm. solitary animals and use their large ears to help locate their prey they live mostly in the brazilian cerrado they're actually the only reason that this section of brazil has any amount of preservation efforts put into it they they're so different looking I've not, that's like one animal I just knew nothing about. Number five, Maramost. Maramost. Most commonly seen what? in Sugarloaf Mountain, Rio de Janeiro, the Maramost makes for an interesting sight. These times. Well, count that as another one I know nothing about. I don't think I've ever even heard of one of these. Tiny monkeys seldom get taller than seven inches. Uh, their long banded tail is their most well known attribute. They wow. live in the Brazilian coastal Atlantic forest and seldom live past six years. Widely considered one of the cutest wild animals native <laughs> to Brazil, tourists often try to catch sight of these tiny monkeys. The common marmoset uses their... <laughs> It, it is cute. It's like a cute little furry monkey. long claws to cling to trees oh my God. where they can then chew a hole in them. They then they're kind of like they they're totally when you compare them. I'm not saying they're the same. They're kind of at far glance like the way they were holding on to that tree, it almost makes me think of like a koala kind of. Now clearly they're different. I know, right? I'm not saying they're the same. But, like, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, like that cuteness factor and the way it was hugging that tree. Um, but, yeah, it's very unique. I, I've never heard of these.
can eat the exudates and the insects found inside. Number three, capybara. Capybara, capybara. are large barrel shaped. This is on, I am going to do more content on them because again, I don't know really anything about these. I think I've only seen memes with these here and there. And I actually never knew what it was. And I definitely didn't know where they were from. These were mentioned in one of the previous videos that these were from uh, Brazil or could be found there at least. And I think these are absolutely hilarious. So I definitely got to learn more about Jake these. Mammals. They can reach four and a half feet long and up That's to 24 big. inches tall. Despite their size, they are actually closely related to domestic guinea pigs. They live wow. mostly in the dense forests and savannas of Brazil near bodies <laughs> of water. This location is chosen because they are semi-aquatic in nature. Wow. Their fur might look thick, but it's not. They can the proportions on them. They have such like a big head, you know? can actually get sunburned through it. Oh, their wow. forelegs are shorter than their hind legs, which means they tend to hop along instead of walk. They are incredibly <laughs> social animals living in large groups of up to 20, both males, females, and juveniles. Despite their size, they can run up to 45 miles per hour, web toes, and fast drying fur. 45 miles per hour? Damn, these guys are fast. They are the world's largest rodent and are capable of holding their breath of up to five minutes at a time. So they're considered a rodent and that the world's largest rodent. Wow. Interestingly <laughs> enough. Well, I would say they're a lot funnier and a lot cuter than most rodents I could think of. So I'll give them that. <laughs> they can also sleep submerged underwater, leaving only their noses above the water. Number wow. two, three-toed sloth. Oh my God, Perhaps look at one this of the guy. the most well-known and well-loved animals on this list is the three-toed sloth. Oh my God. Don't you all wish, don't we all wish that we could just have no worries in life like that guy? He's just moving literally so slow, climbing the tree. He's got those long, uh, those are claws, right? They're actually pretty funny looking. He's just grabbing on and climbing the tree. Not a care in the world, man. <laughs> they just have that chill face like they're just, yeah, everything's good, man. <laughs> of which there are four unique species. There are the brown-throated, the pygmy, the pale-throated, and the maned three-toed sloths. All Love of these it. sloths have three fingers on their feet. The three-toed sloths have long curved claws, which they use to both cling to tree branches and to hook on branches as they jump between them. That's They're hilarious. almost completely arboreal, which means that they can only come down from trees to defecate. They have a- Ah, uh, so they stay in the trees most of the time. And then they come down, take a dump, and then they're back to the tree. <laughs> Six month gestation period and only have a single offspring. Okay, so that's going to do it for the video. I'm going to look up a couple more before we go here. But uh, of course, that'll be linked down below. And that was not the whole thing. So if you want to watch that whole video, check them out. And of course, browser channel, that will be linked down below. So you can watch that whole thing uninterrupted. Alrighty, so we are going to look at a little more wildlife in our own research here before we go. So we go to the good old Wikipedia and uh, let's see what we can find here. What's some amazing facts is, uh, you know, of course, Brazil is home to 60% of the Amazon rainforest and which accounts for one tenth of all species in the world. I mean, think about that. That's wild. Indeed, it is considered to have the greatest biodiversity of any country on the planet. I just think that is so cool and beyond fascinating that uh, a country can claim that. That is really, really cool, man. Uh, you know, it, it it's kind of one of those things where, and I realize a lot of people watching this, or if you live in Brazil, you might not experience most of these animals. Of course not. You might, you definitely won't experience them every day. Um, and of course, with that many animals, a lot of people won't even be able to see them all in their lifetime. But just the fact that you are somewhere that is that biodiverse, that just kind of rich in... Uh, life, you could say. It, it's really kind of cool. I feel like it's something to be proud of. That's like a really good fact uh, about a country, I think. It has the most known species of plants, 60,000. So really diverse in wildlife, really diverse in plants. Freshwater fish, 3,000 plus. Amphibians, around 1,200. Snakes, 430 different snakes, 90,000 insects, 775 different mammals. 
third in the world in most bird species, and third with the most reptile species. Brazil is second only to Indonesia as a country with the most endemic species. So, yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Let's see what we can find. First of all, this thing is wild. Uh, the Toco Toucan. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And look at this. Poison dart frog. Now, that thing is definitely poisonous, as the name suggests. Not something you actually want to pet and have lick you and stuff like that, right? Might be a bad idea. But definitely really vivid looking. I mean, look at the colors. I mean this in a good way. It almost looks fake. Like, how is something living have, you know, an outer skin, you could say, that looks like that? How? It's so amazing to me. That looks so bright yellow and, like, bright black. It looks like something you'd make on a computer, not something that looks like that in real life it, to me. Because most animals aren't colors like this. It's really cool. Uh, by the way, you can find jaguars in uh, Brazil. I think, uh, by the way, I'm wearing a New Mexico. This is a state of New Mexico. Uh, there have been jaguars spotted as far north as New Mexico and Arizona, which is the neighboring state. Of course, I think you can find jaguars uh, all throughout Mexico, uh, maybe Guatemala, I'm not sure, but that's pretty crazy that they're all the way down in South America as well. Of course, the largest snake in the planet, Anaconda, you know, calls Brazil its home. Maine wolf, bush dogs, let's see, Hoary fox or Zorro? That's interesting. Short-eared dog, ooh, that's different. Look at that. Crab-eating fox that was. This is a pompous fox. Look at all the different felines, of course. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, jaguars, pumas, which, of course, we have pumas up here. Uh, margays, sloths, which are hilarious. Armadillos. I did not know those were down there. What? Look at all these animals. I'll do like a quick run over. Obviously, it would take me all night to go through them all, but I'm just kind of getting a uh, look at the marsh deer. That's interesting. Papa's deer. Deer are uh, beautiful. I think they're so cool. Yeah. Different monkeys. The tamarind. Look at that. <laughs> then, of course, you know, insects, birds, aquatic animals, amphibians, fungi, plants. I mean, I guess I won't be able to go through them all because this would take all night. I wanted to get a little glance at some bonus, you know, footage here. I mean, it's safe to say it's just unbelievable and endless. Let's just go to images, see what we can find. You see? So many different things. Look at this. <gasps> that is so cool. Look at that picture. That is unreal, man. Between the landscape, the coast, and this beautiful exotic bird. Like, look at the colors on that. That, that actually looks like the Brazilian flag, like colors. <laughs> look at that. Oh, my God. Dude, that is amazing. It's amazing to me the colors you see on some of these which a lot of these are probably found in the jungle, right, or tropical areas. Well, I think it's safe to say I could probably discover a lot more. This might have just scratched the surface, considered like a part one. So, uh, yeah, please tell me some of your favorite animals and maybe some unknown, you know, or lesser known animals that people uh, don't really know about that you know of in uh, Brazil. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are awesome. The videos have been doing very well for being such a new channel, so I really appreciate that. I think we're already forming a really fun and awesome community, and I'm also working on some features like I might have it in this video, and if I don't, I'm trying to work on getting, um, of course, subtitles that appear in Portuguese, in Brazilian Portuguese, uh, just to help. I think that might be kind of cool to help out some viewers. And, uh, of course, you guys are really doing awesome with, you know, giving me tips and educating me about some cool facts and stuff, as well as, like, video ideas. Um, so I really do appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. I'm really, really enjoying this. So thank you for the warm welcome. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker 2.0. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.